Eben, second successive day that you've broken 70. How is it possible for you to be this competitive this quickly, having not played? I don't know. <laughs> it must be talent. It must be talent, you're sure. Now, you told us yesterday you weren't going to be chicken. You were going to go for flags that you don't normally go for. Is it liberating playing like that? Uh, in a way, it is. Obviously, I'm not going for everything. I'm not plan trying to play stupid golf, but I'm, I'm trying really to attack the holes that I should attack on. And is it a different mindset? You're standing up there saying, I'm going to go for this pin that perhaps mm. I normally wouldn't do. Yeah, and still, you know, this morning when I when I went out to play, I had my stomach going, I was really nervous, the first two holes, which were funny. And I said to my husband, I said, well, this is actually what I'm going to miss. So I just got to enjoy it, so, <laughs> even though it was a bit terrifying. To win your last event on the day that you retire would be a fairy tale. Do you believe in fairy tales? I do, in a way, yeah. I'm actually a little bit of a romantic, but uh, it probably doesn't look like that. But I am a little bit. Well, wish you luck tomorrow. Well played today. Thank you.